Hello everyone, it is Circadia here. Today on Lumiapedia, we'll be looking into the newest character to join us on Lumia Island, Arda. Arda is a ranged character who utilizes different relics to disrupt his enemies while also supporting his teammates. Arda uses his ancient artifacts to strengthen his own skills. Depending on the situation, Arda can choose to lower his cooldowns, strengthen his crowd control, or support his teammates. Let's get right into it. Arda's skills are his Q, Shamash's Papyrus, W, Babylon's Code, and E, Nimrod's Tombstone. Arda's ultimate, however, is Unleashed Power, which is of course used to power up his skills. His RQ is Shamash's Code, RW, Babylon's Dice, and RE, Nimrod's Gate. And lastly, his passive is Relic Quest. The first part of Arda's passive is Excavation Control. When Arda harvests an objective such as Tree of Life or Meteorite, Arda creates a zone around him, silencing enemies. The zone is only active while collecting. The second part of Arda's passive is Artifact Analysis. If Arda uses a relic that deals damage to an enemy, he gains an Essence of Antiquity. When Essence of Antiquity reaches max stacks, the Lantern releases a mystical force that recovers Arda and nearby allies' HP. Arda's ultimate is Unleashed Power. Casting a skill after using ultimate enhances the effects of the chosen skill. Arda's base Q is Shamash's Papyrus. Arda unfolds Shamash's Papyrus in the targeted direction. Enemies hit by the Papyrus take skill damage. Arda's Q changes after casting Unleashed Power to become Shamash's Code. Arda unfolds the code in the targeted direction, dealing skill damage to enemies hit. Casting Shamash's Code refunds part of Unleashed Power's cooldown. Arda's skills with Shamash's Relics are mainly for damage. If damage is needed for team fights, Arda should use the Enhanced Shamash Relic to not only do additional damage, but also get a faster cooldown cycle for his ultimate. Arda's base W is Babylon's Cube. Arda summons Babylon's Cube, slowing and damaging enemies in the targeted area. Babylon's Cube disappears while dealing skill damage and stunning enemies. Arda's enhanced W is Babylon's Dice. Arda summons Babylon's Dice, which is similar to Babylon's Cube, but as an additional effect, the dice snares enemies that touch the edges of the area. The dice will deal damage once all sides are gone, stunning enemies in the area as well. Babylon relics are used to keep enemies in place. The skills can be used to stop enemy engagements, as well as allow ally skills to connect on top. Arda's base E is Nimrod's Tombstone. Arda drops Nimrod's Tombstone at the targeted location, dealing skill damage to enemies within the area and knocking them back. Arda's enhanced E is Nimrod's Gate. Instead of one, Arda drops two Tombstones when casting Nimrod's Gate. Arda and his teammates are able to teleport through the two tombstones. Nimrod's Gate opens up movement around the map that used to be only available for a select member of the cast. The skill allows the team to initiate fights in interesting angles that were not possible before, making the team completely unpredictable. The skill is also great at helping teammates get out of unfavorable situations. Using a variety of relics, Arda will change up how fights are played out on Lumia Island. Arda can help his team with a variety of skills he can bring. Arda's skills will help the team disrupt enemy plans. The long-awaited Arda is finally joining Lumia Island as the 66th test subject. Come try out his unique gameplay revolving around his relics. This was Circadia, signing out. See you all next time on Lumiapedia.